polarizes things. It makes extremes more. If you're a character that likes to juggle, it's going to be, you know, more. It's going to be better for you because your opponent doesn't have platforms to retreat to. Same idea with Lucina. However, as a projectile character, it becomes a lot easier to, you know, basically line up. You know, people have to be more linear when they're trying to come at you. All right, so far they're going blow for blow. They're not really going for any huge hits or anything. But as you can see, Stretch very mindful of the fact that he has to pick his openings carefully. If you just rush in time and time again on a link, he will absolutely punish you for it. He will make you feel terrible about doing that. And Stretch aware of that. Oh, really good job there. Sort of knew that that bomb was on, you know, French Tudor's focus. Oh, and that's what I was talking about. Trying to get out of the corner. He lands, and that's going to be all she wrote for French Tudor's first stop. Stretch even holds his bomb just to, you know, taunt him a little bit more there. All right, now it's French Tudor's chance to possibly ledge trap. Oh, and the Nair is enough to do it. This match is dead even between these two. Like, literally about... There tied completely. Mm. I will say, Stretch seems to have a decent handle on the neutral. We're seeing him get most of those, you know, first hit initiations. However, especially this stock, as of late, he's not been getting the follow-ups that he really needs to. Yeah, you see right there, he got the single hit, but wasn't actually able to get anything extra off of it. And considering that French Tutor, when he gets a single like, little bit of a tap, he's able to do tons of damage. Things not so bad, though, for Stretch. It seems that his neutral overall is just enough that he's keeping up with him, even if he is about 30% behind here. Oh, that side is so dangerous. Oh, I love the bomb drop. He recognized that being on the, in the corner on the ledge, is, it's been terrible for him so far. So by going for that bomb jump, he ends up already like three quarters, or at least one quarter of the way onto the stage already. Oh, <gasps> the little Nick. Now, he might have, Stretch might have died if he didn't get hit by that upbeat. That was actually maybe a calculated suicide play where, you know, if the opponent, he had to recover in that situation, so he knew he was going to be brought back to stage. Oh, going deep. Nice up E out of shield. Oh, but the bombs up. Yeah, that seems to be really good. That's pivotal, it seems, for French Tutor because it's keeping him away from the worst situation, which is being trapped at the ledge. Stretch is the one who's in the corner. Both these guys, their percents are deep in the red. That might be it. No, doesn't actually have any true follow-ups off of the grab at this point. The neutral air, one back air might be enough. Yeah, we're seeing stretch. Go for it. The forward tilt comes out quicker than the, the shield breaker. So that means... All right, he's able to even it up immediately. This has been a neck and neck game one. These two really just blow for blow, especially when at those stocks, no, neither of these players is able to get uh, a sizable lead, any extra credit or anything like that, which, especially, like, if you think about it, when you're fighting a Link, when a, when a Link is setting up his uh, you know, stock ahead wall, it's just so difficult to deal with. <gasps> And right now we're seeing a very aggressive approach from Stretch. We hadn't really seen him t go this oh, in-depth into his opponent's face just yet. French Tutor, though, is the one. He had stage control for just a moment. Again with that shield breaker, but French Tutor ready for it this time. Oh, beautifully weaving in that forward air in between the two hits. And now French Tutor, this could be big for him. Goes for that huge smash attack, but good awareness from Stretch doesn't get hit. Feels like there's, every, like, you know, we've had so many plays at the ledge. Oh, both of them have been going for these big hits, but neither one of those big hits had actually been working out. And as a result, <gasps> seems to have a very late lasting last stock here, but the up air is enough to do it. We had not actually seen that. We hadn't really seen any juggle attempts from French Tutor until the very end there, and I think that, you know, Stretch wasn't exactly prepared for it. He threw out that back air as if uh, he just wasn't going to get punished, and I mean, you see the range on that.
on that up air. Okay, here it goes. He lands this up tilt. He goes for a back air, probably just to get out of hit stun, but yeah, that was his death sentence. Oh, look at Stretch's face. He, it looked like he just, it, like, just bit into, like, a, like a, what, like a warhead. Like a big sour gumball. Show me the end of that replay again. I want to see his face. Ah, the technology. <laughs> Stop Ooh. that Anyway, we are having Lilat actually as the counter pick. Lilat still legal here at Xeno. Um, and I'm wondering why Lucina in particular. I suppose that the slant of the stage could possibly mess up some of Link's projectile game. And there also might be some, you know, just unfamiliarity to it. You know, people, not a lot of people like playing on Lilat, which means that they don't know how to play on Lilat. So for the French tutor looking like he's doing all right. Yeah, in fact, these platforms, I think they're good for Link. You see the way that he's staying underneath them, using the awkward placement of them to actually shut off even more possible angles of attack. French tutor so far has seemed like he's in complete control of this game too. Oh, another little nick, but it's not quite enough. As long as Stretch is alive, and he no longer is only 60% on French Tutor. This is honestly a lead that we haven't seen yet in this set. Uh, he tried to parry the neutral air, but even a parry wasn't enough to actually find the punish. Uh, that was kind of cute. A little up B right there. Uh, he tried to meet him out there. He saw the bomb jump coming, went to the middle of the stage, but stretches back here, which is misplaced a little bit. And, you know, despite that huge lead that was going on, only 35% on stretch. That is not unmanageable in the least. You know, he has been dropping a lot of his, you know, combos and setups, but one solid hit into a ledge trap can lead to nigh infinite damage. That forward air is such a meaty hit and puts Stretch all the way off stage, which is huge for French Tutor. Great option, the up out of shield. I will say we haven't really seen a lot of shielding from French Tutor. For the most part, he's been throwing out projectiles, he's been throwing out fares. He's not going with you know that strict defensive option of just shielding. Oh, and maybe that's why Stretch has been going for... I mean, right there we saw him go for a grab. That's another really big stock for French Tutor. Wow, the, the chutzpah on him. Parrying that shield breaker. And now, all right, Stretch has to make do really well with this. The bomb is there, but he doesn't get the bomb jump. And this is actually similar to what we saw earlier. About 28% now separating the two of them. But even though Stretch even things up pretty well. Uh, French Tutor still took his stock pretty dominantly. It seems that when he gets those single hits in, he just takes Stretch for such a ride. Hey. 91%. That forward air does so much damage. It became one of Link's best moves in this game. And that forward air, speak of the devil, it. It's going to be what takes Stretch to hell as French Tutor takes the set 2-0. Uh, moving on in the winner's bracket, I believe where he has to... We'll see him later. He'll he'll go for a nice run. He's He's gotten top eight, right? French uh, Tutor? French? Yeah. Yeah, like once, I think. 